ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಶುಕ್ರವಾರದ ಸಂಜೆಯ ದಿನ ಐ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ಲಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಮನೆ ಧೋಖಾ ಆರ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಧೋಖಾ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಧೋಖಾ ಆರ್ ಮನೆ ಧೋಖಾ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಎ ಲಿಟ್ಲ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಧೋಖಾ ಮನೆ ಧೋಖಾ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ a honest middle class home buyer will have an aspirations to construct their house or get an apartment in multi facilities areas and live a happy life so that's most of the middle class families will aspire to own a house purchase a site build a home as per their dreams or book a flat in one of the premier builders or whatever any other builders uh, available in bangalore with basic necessities in place with basic amenities in place like water sewage treatment plant or common area facilities electricity etc etc so that they can focus on their life and get relief from home issues but in bangalore is it really happening is it really happening to the home buyers of this karnataka where home buyers are relieved from their tensions the answer is no not at all is happening it is not at all happening in karnataka home buyers are paying the money home buyers are paying the emi home buyers are paying the rent parallelly together and their dreams of owning a house is only happening in dreams but not in reality and who is responsible for this and who is held responsible for this it is none other than the state of karnataka who is supposed to ensure home buyers are not cheated home buyers protection is been taken care with that context real estate regulation authority rera has come into picture lot of governments in the past worked on it and in 2016 central government government of india has passed this and the gazette and made it as an act a law in the society and given the responsibility to the states to implement this particular act in their state because land is a state subject but is the rera act has been implemented in karnataka successfully that is giving a justice to home buyers it's a big question that is arising in every home buyers mind in karnataka we have seen mantri serenity home buyers talking about it and the project got delayed for 8 to 9 years we have seen home buyers from mantri web city we have seen people from the greens project anekal we have seen home buyers from karnataka state owned body called bangalore development authority in gunjur none of them seems to be happy none of them seems to complete their project in a prescribed time frame of 3 to 4 years maximum 3 years is what the agreement says and the execution is crossing more than 7 years 8 years of delay almost a decade to own a house yes this is the reality yes this is a reality which is happening in karnataka but why our regulatory bodies rera is not taking a strict action against the violators of the law of the land the builders are continuously violating the law of the land by not delivering the houses 
it is not because of the covid we understand because of the covid lot of turbulence is happening across the industry but the project are delayed much 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 before because of that cost of construction would have increased a lot because of material cost would have increased a lot and builders may compromise on the quality of the constructions as well being a home buyer who paid the entire money 90 to 90% of the entire project cost has been given to the home buyer given to the builders by the home buyers is it not our fundamental rights to own a house in karnataka by paying the full money to the builders paying the full money to the bda why bda and the private builder is continuously constantly violating the regulations of rera and why rera is keeping quiet when the builders are violating these regulations and why ne they are not cancelling them their license to construct a house in the future what is stopping them to take strict action against the cheats and frauds of karnataka this why question always raises among the home buyers let us all welcome mr subrato on to this platform who is one of the home buyer in the project called nsr grains in bangalore south in banergata road and let us listen to him what is his experience of being a home buyer in karnataka when his journey started and what is his aspirations and what is the reality and what steps he has taken and is rera is able to give justice to him let us listen directly from a home buyer from nsr greens project in bangalore south on banergata road a hearty welcome to mr uh, subrato on to this platform and i know there is uh, some issues uh, on the background image part that is fine please uh, go ahead and uh, please explain to the viewers on this channel on social media and this program is live on facebook this program will be shared across thousands of home buyers across the world and okay. youtube yeah. channel as well so this is a a fact checking platform about rera's accountability on this platform rera's inability to give justice on to the home buyers and our home buyers are going to speak honestly who are the tax payers of this country yes subrato please go ahead good evening everyone dhananj sir thank you for giving me the opportunity to present my uh, situation so i bought this apartment on 7th uh, 7th of june 2017 so 2017 2017 okay 7th of june 2017 sell deed was made Okay. So it was ready to occupy a apartment when I. What is the pro, what is the project name, uh, Subrato? The project name is NSR Greens. NSR Greens. This Green. project is NSR Greens. NSR Green. Green. Where it is yeah. located? It is located in uh, Kodi Chikneli Main Road, Bilaka Ali, Bangalore. Okay. Okay. Bangalore South. Okay. Bangalore South. Okay. And it was done by builder named NSR Projects. NSR Project. Yeah. Okay. so initially i uh, when i approached them i approached them for rent so i was searching for rent i approached them though they told it okay we have uh, a apartment for you why cannot you try that it will be in your budget and it is mm. 100% uh, as per bbmp approved plan mm -hmm. so then i tell okay and they told that it is sbi approved mm -hmm. so then i contacted few of my friends mm -hmm. to know that uh, sbi is how they are checking their documents mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. then i came to know sbi is doing thorough verification of the documents you should yeah, be sbi is supposed to be one of the largest uh, nationalized banks in india when did you took the loan uh, mr subrata it is same same 
same year 2017 yeah when was the committed date of delivery no it was ready to occupy oh, it is ready to occupy okay. okay okay so the problem started is uh, uh, so we approach uh, sbi so sbi has uh, done this one verification mm-hmm. and every mm-hmm. uh, time i got loan i mm-hmm. got on the apartment okay so at the time of purchase i inquired is there any deviation and how much is the deviation mm-hmm. will ally will i get khata or not a mm-hmm. khata or not okay at that time they told me that uh, yeah you will get it and we you have to pay 35000 for the khata and you will get it we will make it for you mm-hmm. so once the purchase was done and uh, Uh, at around month of june i purchased and month of august i felt that 35000 is big amount i should not pay that i directly approached bbmp mm-hmm. with my some known, known uh, office colleagues and uh, mm-hmm. he supported me and told uh, meet with an officer the officer told okay you have all the documents you have to get an oc okay then i contacted the builder see Uh, uh for khata we need oc then he was shouting at me saying mm-hmm. why you have approached the builder uh, bbmp mm-hmm. without informing us mm-hmm. then i told that you are uh, charging 35000 for the khata so it is very high for us i should uh, mm-hmm. go for that mm-hmm. so, so you are not getting a khata from bbmp you are not getting no. a khata from builder no okay okay so did you file any complaints about this yeah Okay. i will am coming okay. so then i then uh, when they are not uh, replying by orally then i uh, mail them mm-hmm. still they have not reply mm-hmm. at around uh, what is called uh, 2018 mm-hmm. with all the all the who has purchased the apartment we mm-hmm. uh, mail them mm-hmm. then he has replied that see uh, this builder when we are we have done the this one uh ground work mm-hmm. we have not made the plan in a written mail from the bbmp uh, builder it is there mm-hmm. we have not done uh, uh, the plan for properly so we have not got the commencement certificate that's why you will never get oc if mm-hmm. in future akarma sakarma happens then only mm-hmm. you will get the oc okay Means, did they commit uh, in the beginning that uh, they will get oc for you Pardon me. Did they commit in the beginning? You will get OC before they. So, sir, I I can meeting. confirm. I have not aware of the OC. I have only okay. confirmed about uh, a khata. Okay. Okay. Initially, they told for initially when I was discussing after the purchase, they told for the small apartment, you don't hmm. need khata. Means uh, hmm. OC. Hmm. And we'll get you the uh, this one. Uh, you pay us thirty-five thousand. So I told it is very high. I am not going to pay for that. Hmm. so that the journey started then they replied then i approach bbmp is mm-hmm. it possible to provide oc uh, this one uh, what are the problems we are not uh, this building cannot be cannot mm-hmm. have oc okay so they also not replied anything yeah. i have is, done is your property registered now huh? is your property registered now property is registered okay Yeah, are you living in the same house? Yes. Okay. So you are living in the same house. Okay. What's your yes. complaint? The complaint is now uh, at around 2018, SBI is asking uh, after their internal audit mm-hmm. the occupancy certificate. Okay. And I am not able to provide to the bank, and bank is following up for the OC after every six months. when the manager is changing and everything when, is when, happening when 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 they are issuing the loan did they not verify it that this project has got a oc or yeah, that, certification is bank yeah, responsible are, because are not there so so the problem with the bank is the, in their legal verification report they have not mentioned anything about com, uh, commencement and completion certificate mm-hmm. they are uh, then how how did they grant how did they gave loan that is my question when the question that builder has to provide your uh, you occupancy certificate that is mandatory i have a mail chain with them they have uh, replying that then why you are asking say so because why you are asking 
Mm. They are telling that when you are staying in a uh, apartment, you should provide us occupancy certificate. Mm. But this is this is really a, a, a pathetic situation. I will tell you why, because the project has been approved by SBI for your documents and they given you the loan. Have you not verified? Is the legal advocacy cell of State Bank of India has not verified the proper? They have verified and they India. have put that. They have put that it is an uh, what is called under construction project. India no, legal report. Under construction, they should have a uh, you know uh, project uh, starting uh, certificate, right? Yeah, they have not checked anything. And uh, they in their in their legal uh, this one report, they have told that it is an under construction project. No, yeah. Even if it is under construction project, the banking uh, legal team is supposed to verify the documents of a particular builder and then only sanction the loans for home buyers. They can't just give blindly to home buyers and then now you are asking, get me the OC. Where will you get OC if builder is not uh, uh, co completing the project as per the plan and if he's not getting, how will you get OC uh, from heaven, is it? Yeah, that is the question. That is my question. Where I will get? I'm I'm uh, means running between RERA and BBMP for that OC now. Means uh, if we if you are not able to give me OC, refund me. That is my question. Only question now. Mm. Now mm. the pro now after that when I got the letter, I approved. This is a very Rera. very important point, uh, Mr. Subrata, that you are bringing onto the table, especially the the new home buyers who are watching this channel. Please understand what is the importance of a OC. Mr. Subrato has got uh, an apartment in Bangalore South and uh, during that time there was no <coughs> OC being uh, there because under construction project but after verification by the SBI which is one of the leading uh, banking services provider in India nationalized uh, banking services provider after getting a loan and now bank is demanding him to get a OC but where he will he get a OC if the builder is not giving. He is not a builder, he is a home buyer whose responsibility is to get to OC. It is a builder's responsibility. And this is one of the challenges that we are encountering in Bangalore, where home buyers will aggressively go for whatever reason and get the property register without OC in place. This is a classic example of what happens, what may happen. It may not happen with all the home buyers, but there are chances, there are possibilities of getting cheated, getting crumped between the SBI uh, lender, money lender and the builder and the SBI say get to OC and builder is not giving OC, then what home buyers will do? This is exactly the reason without OC, please don't register your flat without yes, occupancy. Uh, my request to, to everyone will be same. Everyone my will be same. Everyone. Will without be same. OC, do not proceed into an apartment. This is Without exactly the point so no, very, very, very well explained, very, very well articulated. This is a classic example of how home buyers are cheated in Bangalore. Bank will push for getting OC and builder will not give OC. Then what home buyers will do? Please do not register your property. I am telling you on this platform, please do not register your property even if the government offer you 10% discount which is going on now to make their kajana full, please don't register properties until unless you get occupancy certificate from the respective BBMP office. Without OC, no registration, home buyers, please know your rights. Please know you may be squeezed between the lender versus the builder if you register your property without occupancy certificate, especially the people of Mantri Serenity, people who are yet to be register their property where builders are forcing you to register properties without OC, please do not register your property without getting occupancy certificate. Please go ahead, Suprato. So what, what did you do when, when, when you are getting a pressure from uh, builder side and the bank? Oh, I approached Rera on... Uh... First of uh, June 2018. Okay. What is your uh, RERA complaint number, Subrata? RERA complaint number is uh, 
CMP one eight zero six zero one. Give me a second. Viewers, we are just opening up the RERA portal for everyone interest. If you are in a process of purchasing any flat, if you are in the process of purchasing in any home in Bangalore or across Karnataka, please visit rera.karnataka.gov.in and go to very, very important section that you need to look at it. Don't worry about the RERA registration because every builder will definitely register in the RERA but what each one of the home buyer should go is the complaint section. Please go to the complaint section. There is a section called promoter wise complaint report, project wise complaint report, and complaint realization reports. Go to promoter wise complaint report. And what is the promoter name, uh, Mr. Subrato? It is NSR, uh, NS3 that you can put, then it will come. Okay, Mr. NSR projects. Yes. Okay, so there is one complaint being registered or a Mr. No, two complaints project. are there. Another one is there. Another this one is the okay. second complaint. This is not the one? Okay. This is the second complaint. Oh, this is the second complaint. Okay, let me go you back. Can, uh, search with the name NS Sridhar, then you can find. Okay, give me a second. In the chat box, I have given you the complaint, complaint number. number. Yeah, just one second. Give me a second. Because in the interest of everybody's knowledge, I'm just sharing the entire screen. What is the builder name? NSR projects. NSR projects. So we, uh, this is NS Reader. You put sir, then you will get it. NS Reader. NS Reader. N. Yes, sir. Sorry, DHAR. Yes, sorry, DH. Oh, it is not coming. Let's complaint. go to complaint with complaint number. Give me a second. Era Karnataka, and then let's go to complaint. Complaint section, project wise. Let's search with the project wise. So you can also search with the project or okay. search with uh, builder name. Project name NSR is Greens. NSR Greens. NSR, NSR Greens. Greens yeah. Okay. Yeah, Bilekali. This is the one? Yes. Okay. So if you click on this, you will see NSR Greens and Subrato Sen. So we are talking to the home buyer, Subrato Sen, on this call. The project name is NSR Green Bilekali and uh, the promoter name is NS Sridhar. The complaint number is 878 registered in the year 2018. Home buyers, please make a point. 2018 is a complaint registration date. And now we are in 2022. Four years. Four years of the complaint and it still says under inquiry. What is this going on in RERA? There is only one complaint on this particular, two complaints on this particular project. And RERA is unable to solve this complaint, which is pending from four years. What are they doing? Shubrata, probably you can explain, you know, what is actually happening in RERA and why your complaint is still under inquiry for four years. Four okay, years. Sir. So, Initially, I mean, uh, from 2019 onwards, hearing has, has started. Almost 20 hearing has happened. 20 More than hearing. 20 hearings happened. And each time builder gives, uh, builder, I mean, uh, Rera Karnaka is speaking on favor of uh, builder. They what, are telling they are that. Saying, oh, are they not com making compulsory to get the OC from the builder? They are not speaking anything. I will come back. There is a little story behind that. Okay. So Please every time I in the hearing, why they are not uh, attending? They are telling, okay, uh, someday they are telling they are busy. Someday out of station. Someday sick. Until 2020 March, this was the story for every hearing. So hearing stopped in uh, during the COVID pre COVID. Then I started writing to them and uh, raising ticket. Hmm. Then they started again hearing. Then I st uh, in the online hearing, 
what is the problem of attending online hearing after one or two online hearing they are telling that okay we are not able to trace them we are not able to give them um, the what is called uh, uh that uh, hearing notice to them then i told it okay uh, they don't have the, addresses of the builder yeah they have address of the builder then i told they okay, able to reach them i will tell you the story then okay. then i told okay the, this is the same builder with same project this one they have another projects in uh, some other projects mm. you that is registered you and i am giving whatever the address given in that project to you mm. now you tell i want to trace them Mm, mm. So by that, okay. After that, what is the other project uh, name? NSR Bridge. No, no, no. The, you said they they have uh, registered one more project. It is NSR Bridge. B R W Z E. Bridge. Where is this? That is. Uh, just wait. I will give you the address. Uh, just wait. Talgat Pura. It is NSR Bridge. Uh, uh, survey number sixty-five by A. Hosanna Halli. Vaja V A Z. Vaja Halli. Vaja Halli. Vaja Halli Village, Kanakpura okay. Road, Bangalore. Okay. And uh, that uh, um, so they are. Uh, this number is. Okay, I got the stuff. Can I just confirm? Is this is the same? Is this the same project that you are talking? NSR projects. Just one minute. Yes. I found yes, it in yes, YouTube. Yes. Uh, sorry, yes, in uh, yes, Google. Yes. Is yes. this the same thing? Yes, yes, yes. Same builder. If you look at the completed projects, this is their website. people can go and make it out there is a contact address this website is up and running everybody if i can see how why rera cannot see this oh my god this is really 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 pathetic because the website is up and running the builder is available the address is there what do you mean by they are not able to they are other builder escape from bangalore no 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 they are their residential address i have personally gone and verified and given to rera Okay, okay, but still they are they are uh, they are they are unable to give any justice to you from last four years. Okay, so after that, I means uh, uh, then they at one of the hearing they are uh, means they have not attended the hearing. They have come in the online hearing because mm. rare hearing is between ten to eleven thirty to two up two p.m. Mm. She mm. that lady lawyer has come. Who, she has submitted her vakalat nama on behalf of the builder. Mm. Mm. She has attended. just uh, came online i am the respondent uh, advocate and mm. she has gone and she has never attended mm, mm, mm. so then i started okay see they are giving the uh, they are uh, getting the online notices they have attended that why you are mm. not accepting that mm, mm. so after this one um, after that what happened is every day i am attending the hearing okay mm, mm. builder has not come give me next date Mm. at certain point they are also fed up on 16 july 2021 mm. they told okay we will give you uh, order we will pass an order mm. Mm. i raise the ticket and confirm that they will pass the order mm. Mm. same reply i got on mm -hmm. 5th of august 2021 mm. rera has done inspection of the building mm. Mm. but i have major uh, problem with that report mm, mm. they are they are telling build, building is complete oc is not received what is the meaning no, but 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 your objection and your point of raising a complaint is to get the oc itself right yes what Then what, what actions rera is taking to get oc from the builder nothing so i am tell they are telling the, they are uh, trying to use section uh, Uh, rule four of the Karnataka uh, Rera Act, uh, rule four of the Karnataka rules, mm -hmm. and try to close the case. I mm -hmm. am thinking that that is their intention. Mm -hmm. The basic but your, your fundamental relief, what you are requested Rera is to get to OC because this is yes. a Rera registered project, and uh, no, getting a OC. This is not Rera, Rera registered. Right. This, is, this is not Rera registered. They are not registered in Rera. 
Now, even whether they register or not register, every project should come under RERA guidelines. This is the act. Yes. This is the yes. law. Yes. Whether it is registered when the project started doesn't matter. Any yes. project re regulation has to be done by RERA. Yes. So now the problem, uh, now the problem is in their report, they are telling that it is complete. How they can tell a complete? And a basic, a basic document of a building is is building approval plan from the statutory authority. Correct. For BBM, for our limits, it is BBMP. Correct. Why they now fail to mention that BBMP, this one, I have sent a mail and in the ticket that this is their building approval plan. Why they fail to means mention that number in that their report. Are they hiding? What, the, what, what, what they're talking about the OC, uh, you know, getting OC, uh, you know, when you requested for getting an OC, what is the response? It is not possible for the, I have, I have. No, no. Uh, is, Rera, is Rera is saying it is not possible? Rera is saying nothing. No, then this is a biggest failure because Rera responsibility to ensure the project is completed as per the plan. And when, when whenever there is a, a project completed as per the plan, BBMP will give a occupancy certificate. It's a builder responsibility to get. It is a builder responsibility to get the occupancy certificate. Now, what is the stand on the uh, bank side? What banks are doing now? The bank is uh, bank is uh, giving me notice after six, six months. That's it. That is the bank uh, the responsibility. On the other hand, when uh, when I approach, have you Rera, ever made a written complaint uh, in uh, banking ombudsman? There is something called banking ombudsman that exists in India. If the banking that, guidelines, that I have not done. Okay, please do that. that. I have not done as of now. That. Banking but guidelines. Have, banking guidelines has to be adhered to the uh, you know uh, uh, under RBI guidelines. Please make a complaint in banking ombudsman saying that this is a approved project from SBI. And SBI is been harassing you in terms of getting OC when it is their responsibility also to push the builder to get OC because it is not Mr. Subrata who is constructing the building. It is yes. Mr. Builder who is constructing the building and you're one of the home buyer. It is not only home buyer's responsibility, but also equal responsibility on the, the banker side to verify the documents and then give loan to the home buyers. The problem is I have approached BBMP. BBMP has orally told OC is not possible in as uh, as building. Have, have they given any written written statement like that? OC? I have writing them to give a written. Ask them to give writing. Please, whenever you make a complaint, please get an acknowledgement copy of your complaint. And then if they are unable to give OC, please ask them to respond in writing. Or yeah, they are not. They are not responding. They are telling whenever I am writing after four or from a lot of mails, they are telling. Okay, you call me, I will explain you on the phone. I told, I have already got that explanation. Mm -hmm. BBMP should tell, it is possible to give the OC or not. That is the single thing. Correct. And, and every if the day, bank every keep day on day following day. it up with home buyer, if the banks keep on following it, home buyers give me OC, OC, where home buyers will get OC. It is a builder responsibility. Why okay. can't the uh, bank, uh, you know, send a notices to the builder to get OC because it's an approved project from them? Yeah. They also now have I want to explain why BB, why this one is not possible. OC is not possible. First of all, that basement was supposed to be in the uh, means uh, below the ground level means around twelve foot below. So we will, we will uh, you know, BBMP is the best person to you know make that uh, judgment. That I have, uh, that, I have got, that I have bought that I have bought from them. Reply okay. from them. Okay. Have, have they given in writing saying that you know it is below that? Not given in writing, but okay. the officer we have got and made they told that uh, your uh, basement should be in the uh, below the ground level. It should be twelve foot. They have not made the plinth. It is a secret. Why didn't plinth. you send that notice or send that information to your banker saying that boss, please go and get OC from the builder? I have already told them, okay. but uh, they are telling it is your responsibility to give. Because you have taken a loan. I, you, you please tell them that you are not a builder. Yeah. <laughs> I and then second, really second, funniest thing is, yeah? second funniest thing is, then why you have done the legal verification? They are telling it is our, uh, this one, what is called? Uh, uh, disperse the loan, uh, whoever gives document. That's all their job. <laughs> this is Being really, really, really that, uh, that is Buddha, not I our completely understand, completely understand the context. 
so home buyers uh, we are already at 936 let me summarize what subroto is undergoing he has a dream he has a dream to live happily in his home he he booked a flat which is uh, you know uh, almost completed ready to occupy and he was thinking that yes everything is in place i can see the building and registered the flat as well with sbi being verifying the documents and given the approval of the loan sbi is one of the leading banking institute in india and if they have approved it means yes we can blindly trust sbi and after getting a loan he registered the flat and now banks are demanding to get oc and mr subrato who is one of the home buyer will go back to builder and asking give me oc and the builder will say sorry i can't help and he is not giving oc to subrato and bank is asking to get oc is it subrato is responsibility to get oc definitely not subrato is not a builder subrato is not a bbmp guy to issue a oc he is a home buyer he is a middle class home buyer his job is to get loan give it to the builder who gives house and register the property and live happily that's his job builder job is to get oc so home buyers please understand you may be trapped once again i'm telling you there are cases where we are seeing under construction projects are getting messed up in karnataka now we are seeing completed projects are also getting messed up even after getting a loan from sbi which is one of the leading banking institute if home buyers are getting squeezed from all the angles under construction project completed projects everywhere home buyers are getting only home dhoka because rera has failed rera has failed to take strict action against the builders state of karnataka has failed to take strict action against the cheats and the frauds of karnataka state of karnataka has failed literally to give justice to home buyers housing department and revenue department literally failed to implement rera in karnataka and our this deputy commissioner in one of the public statement makes i will take another 10 years to execute the projects execute the files file files are piled up so much and it, it i will take another 10 years this is a public statement made by mr manjunath sir in one of the the leading national newspaper mr somanna who is a honorable housing minister makes a statement saying home buyers we are making all measures to ensure home buyers are safe home buyers protection is been taken care boss this statement is only in papers not in reality this is the example of mr subrato that we are seeing on this channel housing minister please come to the ground level please understand the home buyers problem and when deputy commissioner makes a statement i will not i will clear in next 10 years what does it imply to home buyers home buyers are getting dhoka from builders for not delivering the house on time and delaying for 10 years and now the authorities responsible deputy commissioners are making a public statement they will take another 10 years to clear the files so 20 years of your precious time in a life is getting into mess who is responsible for this state of karnataka failure to govern state of karnataka failed to give justice this is a complete failure of rera complete failure of housing department complete failure of revenue department but the question remains unanswered on the home buyers why 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 and karnataka home buyers forum suspect karnataka home buyers suspect corruption in rera we will make this statement public loud and clear karnataka home buyers 
सस्पेक्ट करप्शन इन हाउसिंग डिपार्टमेंट कर्नाटक होम बैर सस्पेक्ट करप्शन इन रेवेन्यू डिपार्टमेंट कर्नाटक होम बैर सस्पेक्ट करप्शन इन रेरा इज रेरा इज मिंगल्ड विथ बिल्डर्स सो दैट होम बैर्स डोंट गेट जस्टिस ऑन टाइम this is a question that we are raising on the authorities this is a question that we are raising on the elected representative mr somanna mr ashok honorable housing ministers and honorable revenue ministers of the state this is a question being raised on the chief minister of the state mr basaraj bomai ji please look into the problem middle class honest tax payers are struggling suffering every day because of somebody's mistake it is not our mistake osing getting os is not mumbai's problem why sbi is pushing hard to get os from a mumbai when the project is being approved by themselves this is really shame on the banking system as well please raise a complaint in ombudsman and raise an issue with the rbi and ensure that sbi is also made accountable on this particular subject and the builder definitely is accountable but unfortunately rera is not taking any action against them four years of delay in this particular project is not at all acceptable four years of justice and waiting and following it of mental torture harassment who is responsible for this housing department revenue department and chief minister of karnataka it's your failure to give justice to middle class please wake up please help home buyers and the question will remains why 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 and we will continue to ask this question to all the respective departments home buyers are waken up now home buyers are asking their rights namma mane namm hakku we will ask this question to government we will show the power of the common man in a subsequent events and subsequent election that is coming up we will show the power of a common man if elected representative don't do the job constitution of india gives the right to vote and we will choose not to vote if you are not doing your job with that note we will close this session thanks a lot subrato for joining thank on this call thank you sir for giving the opportunity in this forum thank you thanks a lot subrato and have a wonderful weekend bye bye thank you thanks a lot viewers and thanks a lot to media friends who are watching this this question will remain on the brains and heads of everyone why why why